Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of my West Ham United FM15 career. Sorry for no videos over the weekend, I went back home to my parents, uh, meaning I couldn't record anything, but I'm going to try and bang out as many videos as possible now that the FM15 beta is out. And I guess it's only a week and a half until the full release, which is brilliant for those of you that are waiting until then. Uh, just before I start this um, video, and keep you updated on what's been going on with West Ham um, just a quick shout out to Sam Collard who made my thumbnail uh, check out his YouTube channel which is in the description below someone else actually made one for me so I may alternate or use that in the second season possibly um, we'll see but I'm just going to use that one for now anyway West Ham so far we have done a pretty good pre-season. Uh, the only game I didn't play, I let my assistant take over, was the 1-0 defeat against Lokomotiv Moscow, in fact. But as you may know from playing the game, those of you that have it, the uh, match engine is very goal-heavy. We beat the reserves 10-2. A hat-trick from Valencia, a couple goals from Zirate, who's a monster, and Sako as well. 3-2 win against Sigma and Lomuk. Uh, goals from Morrison, Sacco and Valencia. 4-3 win against this team, Silkeborg. Uh, Downing, Colton Cole, Valencia with goals and an own goal. Then we lost. Then we beat Bournemouth 3-1. Two goals from Morrison, a goal from Valencia. 5-0 against Recreativo. Hat-trick from Valencia, Reed and Colton Cole with a goal. And then 4-0 against Iraklis. Two goals from Valencia, Cole and Zerate. Valencia with 11 goals in 6 starts and 1 sub-appearance. Brilliant. Um, we're facing Newcastle when I first came away from home I was playing this diamond formation I'm not 100% sure about it I am going to be start uh, doing another YouTube series with Rotherham um, so check that out soon but I've played half a season with them I won't let you know how I've been getting on but I've tried this formation and it hasn't worked in real games um, it worked okay in friendlies, likewise, but then when it got to the competitive games, it didn't work. So I'm trying out this, going into it cold, just going to do a quick pick to see what they suggest I do. Now I'm tempted to play Downing in midfield, simply because uh, he can play there <laughs> in real life. And then play Valencia up top, maybe? Oh no, actually I'm going to put Downing there. We'll put Zerati up top as an advanced forward. Perhaps a complete forward. Complete forward, I think, because he's got the skill. So Valencia's a remdu to Downing as an inside forward. I think I'll swap into winger. Yeah, we we'll swap into winger. Morrison in midfield. Uh, thing is, everyone's injured, which is quite upsetting. So let's go with the under 21s and we need to pick someone else in Cole, for Cole Jenkins position I think it's going to have to be Young uh, where is he I want Chambers if he's here he may not be here here we go so uh, Chambers and Poyet on the bench um, Sacco is pretty dead I don't know what's been going on here. Oh, it's because he's playing for the reserves. Why is he in the reserves? I don't need him in the reserves. I had this problem. You can't... If you select them to play for the reserves, and it doesn't seem to cancel it, which is very irritating, meaning they get knackered. Let's get rid of the under-21s. There's too many players in this list now. I don't know what you think about this tactic screen. It's really hard to get used to. It's a bit clunky. I don't like these green things with the stars in the middle. Just find that dodgy. So I'm not too keen on that. I've got so many injuries. What's going on? Kevin Nolan is unhappy because I uh, took away his captaincy. He's on the transfer list now. I've made no transfers whatsoever, so I've got nothing to show you there. I was hoping to just use the team and see what happens. Um, but I may sell Nolan. I may bring another player in. But obviously I'll let you know in episode 3, which will probably be after the transfer window. I think we've got Spurs. Next game is against Palace in the league, then Burton in the Capital One Cup. So let's get on with this and see if we can beat Newcastle in this first game. 
So we've got these tunnel interviews now, for those of you that don't have the game and haven't seen this. Um, oh, I don't know what to put. <sighs> Go away, I don't need three questions in the bloody tunnel. Okay, I'm going to ask my assistant to do this. Ferreira, if any of you remember my Everton FM13 career, he was a beast for me. What a player. Let's ask McDermott to do the team talk. Okay, not my ideal lineup, but a pretty strong lineup. Ravel Morrison's in midfield. Uh, in real life, of course, he's not playing for West Ham. I think he's gone out on loan. Um, Tompkins is at right back simply because all the right backs are injured. It's crazy how many there <laughs> there are injured. Demol, O'Brien, and Nicole Jenkinson all injured. That is just stupid. So Kiate is at centre back as well because Collins is injured, and Tompkins is at right back. Um, where the, it's pr oh, good save, Adrian. Uh, but yeah, the, that's pretty ridiculous. All my defenders getting injured at once just before the start of the season. And Kiate is really a central midfielder in real life. Um, but they've got him as a defender or defensive midfielder in this game because in Belgium, for Anderlecht, he did play centre back. Here goes Valencia, the Ramduta. Oh, just over. Unlucky. So this tactic is counter. May have to go to attacking if they take the lead, which is inevitable. <laughs> I've not been so good away from home on this game. Oh, Zerati could have run for that, surely. Close him down, guys. Come on. Get in there. Just passing it around at the back. Also, back passes are weird. They lob it, like, in the air to the keeper, which is just dangerous. There's a lot of bugs, but they they are being sorted out. Uh, I think they've already released a patch. And, of course, before full release, they will update a lot of things. Oh, good save, I think. May have just hit the crossbar. I haven't done a live commentary for ages. I, I've on FM14. I mainly did updates, uh, where I just sort of told you about how I'd been doing. I probably haven't done a, a live commentary since the start of this year. Looking to do some Twitch stuff as well at some point. A good save, Adrian. Uh, this isn't working. I've not had anything. Song. In uh, midfield, hasn't really had any of the ball. Morrison, Valencia. Oh, he's lobbed it over the bar again. Stop hitting it so high. Valencia heads it on. Zarate, nowhere near it. Song into Noble. Lovely ball into Valencia. This time it's saved. And look, no highlight from the cor uh, from the corner. In previous games, if you get a corner. You see the highlight of the corner. On this, you don't. It's a bit irritating, I find. You've been unlucky so far? Not really. We just haven't really done anything. Um, I think we need to go attacking. Run at defence. I mean, Valen Valencia is getting in behind. Tempted to put Colton Cole on. Morrison's actually done okay what's down uh, I'm gonna bring on Colton Cole for Downing Colton Cole's gonna go here as a target man support hopefully meaning he can bring into play Zerate and Valencia Zerate is gonna play as an inside forward attack and we'll see what happens really need Valencia to pick it up because he's had three opportunities two blazed over the bar one good save okay come on guys oh no corner you can see so many goals from corners in this game well then I've conceded a goal can we get back into this? Valencia's dead, 68%. And I've got no one really to bring on. Ricardo Vazte, Amalfitano? 
I guess could play there. Not as a rem. Oh, he can play. Hmm. Winger, really. Winger attack. See what he can do. Can he turn this around for us? Come on. Valencia's had a poor game. Ah, oh, what a goal. Ryan Taylor always scores free kicks. Ever since the beginning of time. I don't think it's our day. Injuries I would, could blame, but I probably shouldn't. Maybe should blame my tactic. It's not going well for me on FM15, admittedly. In competitive matches anyway. Pre-season I'm fine, but... I, I just can't seem to, to make it work. Like, nothing is working for me. Better make my last sub. Which will be... Revan Wilson coming off. Place of Poyet. Uh, poor start to the season. Need to pick it up. Hopefully by episode 3 I'll have sorted this out. My team will be playing well. Nice ball. Poyet Zarate, come on. Do something. What was that? It's just a waste. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand. What even was that? We've had three shots in this game that blazed about 50 yards over the bar. Ridiculous. Uh, never mind, we've lost. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. It's not gone well. But I'm hoping episode 3 will be better. I'm not I'm not pleased. Creswell's not happy. We hardly had... Oh, I mean, we had half the number of shots as them. But never mind. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a like. Please comment. Maybe add some suggestions. Um, and I'll see you in episode 3.